Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about oil painting because I know there's so many of you that really want to try oil painting and are just not sure where to start. So I'm going to share with you today 10 tips to help you get started with oil painting. So my first tip is if you've never tried oil painting before, it would be great to try water mixable oils because they are a lot like acrylics and generally a lot of artists start with acrylics so it's, it's not too far away from what you might already know and it's a lot easier to clean up, you don't have the smelly solvents that are used with traditional oil painting so definitely give water mixable oil paints a go if you haven't already. I've got a few videos that might help you get started with them like tutorials so I'll link to those now. Um, so yeah, definitely try water mixable oils. My second tip is to start with dark colours first. It's a lot easier to blend a darker colour lighter than to... Wait... It's a lot easier to lighten something than it is to darken something. So once you pile on a load of white paint with oils, it's very, very difficult to then go and add in darker colors afterwards. So what I always tend to do is add my darker colors first and then add the lighter colors with each layer that I add on. You may have heard of this tip already, but when I first started, it was one that really confused me. And that was thick over thin or fat over lean. This is like one of the golden rules of oil painting. But if you say to someone fat over lean, it's like, well, what does that even mean? Like, it's really difficult to know what that means unless you're already an oil painter. So I will try and just describe and explain a different way. Thinner layers of oil paint, so when we say thinner what we mean is um, thinned out by either solvents or different mediums, they will be fast to drying. So what you want is for those to be on the bottom layer so that they can dry first so that your thicker layers, which means oil paint straight from the tube or paint with a lot of oil in it. So whether you're adding more oil as a medium or just sticking with paint straight out of the tube, that is your fat layer so that wants to go on last because that will take the longest to dry if you put on a very watered down thin layer of oil paint on top of a thick fat layer what will happen is the thin layer will dry first then when the fatter layer dries it will crack it's very difficult to explain um but that's what it means when people say thin fat over lean and thick over thin. <laughs> I might have confused you even more, hopefully not. An amazing tip that I discovered was to use a glass palette with oil paint. It scrapes off so easily and it is so smooth and buttery when you're mixing colours. I prefer it to wood hands down. When I first started I never knew about this tip and I wish I did and that is you can get oil painting paper. I kind of always just thought oil painting was for canvas because if you add oil paint to paper that hasn't been primed, it can uh, leak through and it's, it's, not, it's not a great idea. But you can get oil painting paper now, which is absolutely fantastic. And it means you can do lots of sketches and practicing and practice colors. I actually use mine for different color swatches so that I can get an idea of the colors that I wanna use in my painting and definitely use it for sketching. Yeah, the flowers here actually, they have been done on oil painting paper, so it's just a great useful tool that, yeah, I wish I'd have known about it when I started. The type of brush you use really makes a difference. If you like very smooth oil paintings, then definitely a softer brush is what you want, and you can build up the layers very slowly. If a thick impasto textural look is what you're going for, then you definitely want a stiffer brush like a hog bristle and you can even try using palette knives as well. So depending on the type of art and the type of look that you want to achieve is dependent on the brush that you're going to be using. If you're new to mixing colours, which I know is a really confusing topic for a lot of people, and I remember especially being confused with mixing colours, um, it, it can be difficult because you kind of, or you know that the colour is not right, so you add a bit of that, and then you add a bit of that, and then you add a bit of that, and. It's still not right and by the time you've done 
you've got so much paint that you've just wasted because you keep adding different colours. So a little tip that I found along the way is to mix a very small amount of colour first to make sure you get the colour right. So only add, I'm talking tiny little bits of paint and when you have got the colour that you want and you know how to make it then you can go in and make a lot more of the same colour. So that way if you don't get it quite right the first time you haven't wasted a lot of paint. Oil paint can take weeks to even months to dry fully. If you want the painting to dry quicker than that, which most of us do, um, you can actually get a lot of mediums out there which are really fantastic at still maintaining the structural integrity of the oil paint but they make it dry a lot faster. Um, a couple of my favourite mediums to do this is Liquin, which is by Windsor & Newton, and also a fast drying linseed oil. At the moment I'm obsessed by the fast drying linseed oil, I think it's absolutely beautiful to use. Um, you don't have to use this brand as well, there are a lot of different brands that do it as well, so definitely add that to your collection if you can. A really important tip to remember with oil paints is to use in a very well ventilated room. I wouldn't necessarily advise to be painting with oil paints in your bedroom or somewhere that you're going to be spending a lot of time unless you can open windows up and get that air well ventilated. I remember when I first started and through the winter times when I'd keep the windows closed I would get a really sore throat and my asthma would really get worse as well. So definitely be aware of that. It's, it shouldn't be something to put you off. I don't want you to be like scared of using oil paints. Um, and do note as well that it is more dependent on the solvents that you'll be using. So if you're using a, like turpentine, good old fashioned turpentine, that will really get on your throat. Whereas there are very low odour thinners out there now, which definitely help. And this is another great reason why I like water mixable oils, because you take that solvent thing away completely. So yeah, just it's just a little tip to remember for your health and for those around you as well. Something that I didn't know when I first started was that some colours are a lot more pigmented than others. And what I mean by that is you can take a very small amount and it goes a very long way, or you can take a very small amount and it doesn't really make a difference. So that's definitely something to remember. The ones off the top of my head that are very pigmented that you only need a little bit. Um, a Prussian blue is very intense. Saying that, uh, I'd find that like most of the blues are quite like that. And maybe um, a red or a magenta or yeah, like a cadmium red, they are quite pigmented as well. And um, those are like the worst offenders off the top of my head. So just you know, tread with caution. So those are just a few tips that I really hope will get you started with oil paint. Most of all, I just want to say the oil paint is put out there as this like scary medium that only professionals use and by all means that is not and should not be the case. Oil paint, I feel, is actually easier than acrylics. Now, acrylics is like the number one medium for beginner artists, but personally, I think that oil paint is a lot more forgiving. It takes longer to dry, so you can blend things easily. And yeah, I definitely don't want anyone to be put off and to just go for it, as long as you're doing it safely in a well-ventilated ven area and don't get too much on your skin, then just go for it and try things out. And let me know how you get on in the comments. I would really, really love to know how many of you out there have either tried oil paints or are an oil painter yourself and how you feel like that fits in with acrylics and like which is your preference. I have a lot of different tutorials on oil painting so I'll pop those in the description box and in this frame now so you can go and check those out and yeah stick around, hit the subscribe button to join the family and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!